This is a fine geometry challenge. Can you solve it? Now here's the question. Given this triangle, this angle right over here measures 15 degrees. This angle right over here measures 45 degrees. And our goal in this question is to solve for the value of this angle, x. Now you can pause this video if you want to give this problem a try. Now suppose you pause this video. Now let's see if you got the correct answer. Alright, so our goal in this question is to solve what is the measure of this angle, x. So to answer this kind of question, first, let's focus on this triangle. Now, from here, we will use some theorems, and one of this is the exterior angle theorem. So the two opposite interior angles adds up to the exterior angle. So we have here 15 degrees. We have here an exterior angle of 45 degrees. And it follows when we add this 15 degrees and this angle right over here, the sum is 45 degrees. Therefore, if this 45 degrees and this is 15 degrees, this other angle must be equal to 30 degrees, so according to the exterior angle theorem. All right, now let's use another theorem. Now it says that the sum of interior angles of any triangle must be adds up to 180 degrees. So we have here 30 degrees, we have here 15 degrees. So this angle must be equal to 135 degrees. Or we can use linear pairs. So 45 degrees plus 135 degrees adds up to 180 degrees. All right, so we know this is 30 degrees and this is 135 degrees. All right, next, what we're going to do is to use this length, copy this length, and what we're going to do is to create another triangle like this. Now, what can we say about this triangle? So this triangle is an isosceles triangle because two sides are equal. Now, what will happen in an isosceles triangle, the base angle must be the same. Therefore, this angle must be also equal to 30 degrees. Next, what we're going to do is to focus on this triangle. And notice that we can use a linear pair also. This is 30 degrees. This angle must be 180 minus 30 or simply equal to 150 degrees. And the sum of interior angles of any triangle must be adds up to 180 degrees. We have 15 degrees, we have 150 degrees. So this angle right over here must be equal to 15 degrees also. So 15 plus 15 plus 150, this is a total of 180 degrees. Now, notice we have the same base angle. Therefore, this triangle must be also an isosceles triangle. So these two sides are equal or congruent. Now, Let's take away all the angles that we don't need in this question, like this 30 degrees, this 135 degrees, and this 30 degrees. Now at this point, take note, we can add this 15 degrees and this 45 degree angle. If we combine them, we have 45 degrees plus 15 degrees, and this will add up to 60 degrees. So we know this angle right over here have a total of 60 degrees. Next, what we're going to do is to connect this point to this point like this. Let's create a triangle. Now let's focus on this triangle, this isosceles triangle because two sides are equal. Now, since the vertex angle is 60 degrees, we know since it is an isosceles triangle, we know the base angle must be the same thing. So the sum of the interior angles of any triangle must be adds up to 180 degrees. So these two angles must be adds up to 120 degrees. And since they are equal, 120 divided by 2, this will give us 60 degrees. Now, the total angle of this angle is 150 degrees. We have 60 degrees. Therefore, the remaining angle must be a 90 degrees. Or 150 minus 60 is 90 degrees. Now, let's take away this 150 degrees. We know this is a right angle because this is 90 degrees. Next, another observation is since this triangle is an equiangular triangle, it is also an equilateral triangle. It follows that it has the same sides. So all of the sides must be equal. Now at this point, let's focus on this right triangle. Not necessarily a right triangle, but it is an isosceles right triangle. 
because two sides are equal. It follows that those angles, those acute angles, must be equal to 45 degrees. Now, it follows when we add x and 15 degrees, the total is 45 degrees. Now, we can also solve for the value of x. Subtract 15 on both sides. So, 45 degrees minus 15 degrees, this will give us 30 degrees. And this is the value of x. Therefore, given this information, then the value of x in this figure must be equal to 30 degrees. And as always, we are done.